Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a little quick reaction video to The Matrix Awakens. I know it's been out for a few days already, but I already, I honestly already played it, so this is kind of like a reenactment of the reaction, but I have to do it on main. Uh, the Matrix, baby, I'm The Matrix. So let's jump right into it. I'll pretend I never saw it. I'm just kidding, but this is still freaking great. You gotta watch it. My god, this music just... Ah, oh, bro. I fucking love this game so much. I mean, this movie. I don't know, that's from the original... Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors. Reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? I need to make this a video game ASAP. on everything is just insane. You still got it. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? No blood. Sorry. I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Ooh. Word of advice. Agents are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. No, Leo, come back. So, what now? Bro, that music. Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Say no more. Closing the particle effects, just get that. Hey. You drive. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Getting close. Oh no! Okay. 
Damn. Him with the dodge fist. Oh! And I got wrecked. Get off me, damn it! Uh oh, there's too many. Jump off the helicopter. Oh, that one's a little bit stuck. Let's go, baby. Dude, that is insane. Jeez. Sadly, that's all we get for the tech demo. Man, what a ride. That blew my mind the first time I played that. There's, there's we're gonna go into the effects of it all. Mind controlled mass AI. World partition. Automatic open world streaming. AI. It's not just there for decorative reasons. Dynamic global illumination and reflections. Day and night. Based object placement. Niagara particle system. Yeah, that's what we saw the car pieces and everything. Just debris flying everywhere. Night night vision. Virtualized geometry. Everything has like depth. It's not just flat stuff. So it gives it like a more real life look. I feel like freaking awesome, dude. Freaking crazy tech. Higher display resolution. You can like toggle. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but you can toggle the the pixels. Real audio generation. The night night again. I would display rendered pixels. Yeah, looks way better with rendered pixels. And then you just get basically a uh, free roam of the city. And there's these little, uh, what do you call these? Little plaques. Icons on the map lead you to plaques like this one. Plaques you can find facts about the city and the technology used to create it. You can also run. Can fly, beat up, around. 
and you can also drive certain cars you can get in I was looking at the plaques and it was like something like 13,000 or something like that insane so the way you crash into vehicles though is pretty funny oh this is a slow car we should have jumped in that Volkswagen I mean the uh they call it kind of looks like a Porsche right here it's God, the, look at the reflection on the freaking vehicle. Little puddles on the road. It's insane, dude. Let's drive this one. This one's fast. Oh. Whoa! Oh, there's some two trees. There you go, there you can push them out of the way. <laughs> Oh, I can't see with the glare. Boom. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Look at the damage on the car. Looks really good. This engine is going to be like... This is seriously next gen. Like, this is what like the PS5 is supposed to be. Because I'm currently playing on a PS5, by the way. That was stunning, dude. And get over it. It's keeping up well with the frame rates. Oh crap! Oh, whoops. Yeah, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and sub for more uh, videos, more gaming videos, all that good stuff. See you later, guys. Bye. -bye.